Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to Jeff TV. I am Jay Levin. This is Football Manager 2021, the Youth Academy Challenge with Siena. And this is for Dele Lande. Our star, our superstar that we created, that came through our academy. And he's already got seven appearances for City, which for me tells me he's already a star. So at the age of just 18, he's worth 34.5 million sold for 37.5 million with a 50% sell-on clause for the next deal. We've got a good deal here, which is very, very good indeed. So that's nice. However, if you like these kind of videos, be sure to like and share this video and to subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a lot. If delalande has got two clauses, he'll they'll owe us another 4.12 million over the next year. So two payments of that. So it should be another 8 million come from him. And then he, they will owe us 50% profit of his next transfer, which I realize now I probably should have said 50% of his next sale, not profit, but it's my mistake. I should have realized that was an issue. I should have got ahead and maybe in the future I need to do that. But that's a thing we can work on another time. The question now is, how have we gotten on since, well, we sold Landy and his last game of the season happened? And we're now in February, so how has January gotten on for us? So the first game we had was against title chasing Lexia. We lost this game in the 47th minute of the game when Banshee scored that solo effort for the only goal of the game to give Lexia the win. I'm a little annoyed by the fact we didn't get at least a draw from this because, well, we had as many shots as they did. The issue is they had an XG that was about 1.3 higher than us. I suppose I shouldn't be too upset. I'm just a bit frustrated we did not get at least anything out of this because I know we could do more. So... A one of the biggest let's go again, not surprising, but still frustrating. So we then went to Genoa and we went behind after we considered this penalty and they scored from it. Fakarko scored that effort, but then Vossi scored as a centre back, which is very nice indeed. And I was so happy to see him score the equaliser because it meant that we started the new year with a point against Genoa, who were probably thinking they should have done better. However, their XG was high because of that penalty, so I think we deserved at least a point from this game. So I consider that a win. It's just a shame we have five hundred cards, but there you go. A team that isn't doing so well stopping us from winning, and at least we were able to stop them from getting all the points, so which is very nice indeed. Unfortunately for us, we then went to Ace Milan and lost by two goals to nil. The opening goal was an own goal from a returning Carluki who, well, didn't know what hit him, literally. It went off the back of his heel, and we tried to go a bit more attacking, tried to go for the equaliser, and we got caught. It, I say got caught, we didn't get caught at all. Piazzi with the finish. It was a bit disappointing. We lost by two goals to nil against a team threatened by relegation. Yes, I'm literally saying about Ace Milan. But we had more shots and it made me wonder how on earth we lost by two goals to nil when we had more chances needed and we were literally watching highlight after highlight after highlight of us having chances. So a little frustration we didn't get anything out of this. So yeah, Milan aren't as good as I thought they'd be this year, but they still got points. So ouch. We then took on Roma in the Coppa Italia and we went 1-0 up after Brondi makes his ball to find Mel Pelli who scores to make it 1-0. Unfortunately, as you can see by the scoreline, we lost by three goals to one. So Roma decided to turn up after we scored the opening goal. And Marquis plays it to Flanino. And yeah, Flanino with the finish. Good for him. And then the second half, Roma decided to actually remember that they can actually win. They need to win. And this ball was incredible. And Pietro risk with the finish. 2-1. And unfortunately, it didn't get better. We got worse. Sidello with the ball in the middle. And Bello with the finish. So, yeah. A disappointing game. We are knocked out in our first cup game of the season. So, we're only going to get 39 games this year. Which is a little frustrating. I think the worst part is we actually felt like we actually had chances. But they took their chances. We didn't. Again, frustrating. Thankfully, though... We didn't go throughout the entire month without getting the win. We won after Calandri scored his first ever goal for us. Daniel Calandri with that effort in the 94th minute of the game. In a match we went for 4-4-2 formation and I couldn't believe it because I thought we would do badly. No, we actually won with a 4-4-2 formation and I'm hoping that we can at least try out another 4-4-2 formation in the future because this game was really good for us. Defensively, we were solid. We had 8 shots to their 5. Our XG was four times, five times as high as there was, and we had twice as many shots on target. So, yay for that. We're good. It's just a shame 
we weren't amazing and Mapelli came off and Calandri came off on the bench to get the winning goal. So Mapelli didn't do well in a tactic I thought I could utilize him in. So frustrating. Unfortunately, we went and hosted Suelo and they beat us by five goals to one in a tactic. And again, we used a 4 4 2 for tactic again. And uh, Silvestrone with the first goal. Okay, a little frustrating. It was 2 0 before half time. And this was a video where it's goal. Gonzalez with the effort. It was a very powerful goal. Kiba has no chance again to that, sadly. And it was 3 0 in the 49th minute of the game. I honestly thought we could do better. Malika actually diving in with the effort, but Silvestrone scores his second. A disappointing game. Admittedly, I think Suspella could just got revenge for our Fauna victory against him early in the season. So, again, I'm not too surprised or upset, but this was disappointing. Vosnek with that effort to make it 4 0. We do get a goal back, thankfully, and it is just a consolation. And Mangoni playing in this game finds Musu. Musu finds back in the net. He can still score. That's his fifth of the season and sixth overall for the club. However, we were conceding this a fifth in the 92nd minute of the game. I think a bit more attacking, but Silverstroni gets his hat trick. We were kind of taken apart here. I don't have anything else to say but the fact we deserve to lose. I say that even though XG was not that far off from there. So, 32 shots for them, 16 for us, 14 on target for them, 9 on target for us. So, I don't know who, if we were hard done by, honestly, but they were just really good. We weren't so good, and we paid the price for it. So, two strikers up front, I think, does work, but it doesn't work all the time, is what I'm realizing. So, question marks about that. There really has to be question marks. So, the last game we had, we took on Bologna and lost by a goal to nil. In a game, we actually did okay. I generally thought we could get an equalizer after Kozak scored this goal. And when they scored, I was thinking, okay, one of the best teams in the division, doing well. But then XG came in, and I realized we were better in the XG, and we only had two shots less than they did. So, I'm a bit concerned that we. Probably blew a chance to get a point here, which says a lot. A bot's also been away on international duty for most of the season, for most of January, so it's not helped. That was his first game back. He didn't do very well. But there you go. Those are the games we had since we last met. Where are we now in the league? So we're down to seventh place. Sassuolo have won four of the last five matches, four in a row, in fact. We have not done so well as of late, and we are only one point clear of Roma, who lost their last game. We've lost three of the last four matches in the league. Which means we need to concern ourselves quickly as Atalanta have won four of their last five. And Fiorentina have got five points in the last three matches. So yeah, do you know we're also doing okay. So we're only five points clear of the bottom half. We are 19 points clear of the relegation zone. So we should be safe from relegation. Milan have also started to recover. They've just drawn all their games and lost their last time out. But they actually lost their last game to be honest with you. So that's not like it's a terrible game because it's Lazio 2. Bologna lead the title race at the moment, with Inter Milan in second. Lazio have lost three in a bounce, so they have dropped off the pace a little bit after looking like they could be in the title hunt. Juventus are not in the title hunt this year, I think. And I say that confidently as they are 11 points behind Lazio and will be 8 points behind if they win their given hand. But will still be 10 points behind Napoli and still be 14 points behind Bologna and could be 18 points behind, could be 17 points behind... Inter Milan if Inter win their game in hand as well. So Juventus's reign of terror, the dominating, the dominating six years running, is about to end this year. I think. Hopefully, I bloody well hope so because I I don't like this. I don't like it when they dominate so much. But I'm going for more a different tactic. You can already say by the fact that I've gone for a well, a two wingers at the moment, and uh, yeah, we're going for this tactic, a four three three. For false nine, inside fairly winger and inside forward on the attack. Mazzala, box to box, deep line playmaker in, on support in the defensive midfielder role. Conte can play it, so I'm going for that. Thinking he could do well. Calandri could also play there too, so we're not shy of players that could play these roles. We're also going for centre backs on defend. We're not going for ball playing defence, I don't think anyone could really play this. And both the fullbacks up on wing backs on support. So Rossi would play in that position. He hasn't done that for a while, and. I've actually been playing as a centre back. It doesn't really work, I feel. So playing him as a fullback is what I need to do. Centre back. Poro is going to play his first game for us. I literally mean his first ever game for us. He's never played a game for us in cup or league competition so far. So I'm kind of throwing him the deep end of this game because I don't trust Kaluki anymore because he's been disappointing. Di Tomasa is also on the bench as is Barbini. So yeah, for that. 
DBS is also on the bench because, well, we've kind of made a mistake and Ishan is tired, so I'm not using him. Ishan actually had a bid of 4 million for him in the general transfer window, which is a bit surprising. Oh, also, I'm going to show you this because like, it will come up now. But Landy's bid was actually the third highest uh, bid that came in and the third highest sale. So we made history, guys. We had the third biggest sell in a January transfer window for the very first time. Hooray! But yeah, seriously, we're going to go for this tactic. And I I'm hoping it will work. If it doesn't work, then at least I can say it's going to be a test. We are going to go for a balanced slash positive. We're going to go for a positive approach because we're at home. But I want to see if it works. We're going to go for a shorter passing. I think I might go for lower tempo, actually. Work the ball into the box. We're going to play for set pieces, too. I don't think we can go for expressive because I don't think they're very smart. I say that some of the players are actually pretty good. Musu's good for this role. So I think Musu playing in this position, playing this role, could be good for him. And he's not amazing, but he's definitely getting better and better. He's a decent player for this position now. So I think he could play the role. It's just a matter of making sure he actually does it, you know? And we've also got Vietena, who could also be good as a left-sided inverted winger. So yay for that. Hopefully we can get players doing well in the future because we need more players who could do well. Mangoni can play as a winger, so we're going to use the wingers as well every now and again. He's also injured, that's why I kind of decided to stop using that role. He had a lower back stress fracture, so ouch. That hurts a lot to look at. But what we're going to do is hope we could do something. A bot is probably not suited for the role. He's actually a four-star winger now. A bot's pretty good, isn't he? Yeah, a bot's actually pretty, pretty good. I'm going to use him as a false nine. He isn't perfect. His Pass could be worked on, his driven could be worked on, but his teamwork is nine, and he's got a lot of pace. So maybe if he could not the ball past his opponents, he could do well. I wonder if I should run up the fences too. But we're gonna play for set pieces because we know we can do set pieces work, and we're gonna see what we can do. Because they're going inverted in the front, maybe we can go for a bit narrower as well. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna see if this works. I want to see if the deep line playmaker on support will work. If we need to, we can literally just switch things up. Probably not that, actually. Probably make that a advanced playmaker support. And we could absolutely just do this, do that. And then just... We we literally could just swap this around. It's so easy for me to swap this around. That's why this is... A, okay, that's why the Shadow Striker thing. So there we go. So Shadow Striker for that. Uh, let's go back to this. Swap you two around. There we go. So we could literally just swap it around if we needed to. And also the 442. Put Conte, okay, Bondi can't play in, in the role, but we've got a situation where actually Conte could do this. We could literally do that. Um, we would need to get rid of, okay, yeah, we need to get rid of Musa in that role, but Musa and Bondi, not ideal for that. But again, it's a work in progress. We know we can do it, so let's see what we can do. We've got three tactics that can work. Bondi can work in one of them, but not in the other one, so I'm hopeful we can win. I really am hopeful we can win against Calgary away from home. Let's see what we can do in a test formation because we're safe anyway. Unless we have an absolute collapse, we should be safe. So, yay. Also, Luigi's back. So, hi, Luigi. Welcome back. You're leaving it in the season, but welcome back. Okay, they got a throw. I'm a little concerned, actually. They've got a throw so quickly. Um, I wonder if I should go balance because it's away from home. Oh, that had a chance. Apparently, it hit Poro. So, yeah, let's go balance, maybe. Could be cool. Could be a good move to do for balance approach here oh we've got to throw in now maybe it's already worked going for balance approach to this here's bondi malika on the ball what can he do finds bazone out wide to conte who is they're very high i just realized die out wide to malika so i wonder if this is actually too high and die goes for god's been blocked but we had a chance again blocked so both teams had a chance that's been blocked so maybe that's a good thing they got a throw now I genuinely do not know if this is going to work. I am literally just testing this out. I, I, I literally do not know if this is going to work for us, but we missed a header. Who was that missing? Missing a header. Thankfully, it's wide, but there was a player that missed a defender and missed a header. Who is it? we got a corner. Malika's taken it. A bot doesn't get to... Oh, for goodness sake. Um, This might be an issue. It's two on two. Thankfully, they made a mistake with the pass, but Simmer could go for... Bersone! What are you doing? I swear to God, I hate my players sometimes. I really do. I, I genuinely thought that this game would show that this formation can work. 
It's not working, is it? It's not bloody working. Okay. Um, they got a penalty. Vasily could save penalties left right and centre. He's actually hasn't saved the last one, but he's been very good at saving penalties this year. I don't know why my players are so useless. Vasily's also booked, so yeah, he he's not good at the tackling, is he? Can we save this penalty? No. Okay. The dream's over. We're going to lose. I'm already thinking we're going to lose, but okay. So half time, we are losing 1-0 after that penalty. We had four shots to their eight. I am not happy. We're going to change the tactic. We're going, we're, we're banning this already. It's been scrapped. It is being scrapped. So Brondi is, well, bot's going to go, we're going to, we're going to go with this tactic because we can. Oh yeah, Dai can play there. I just realized Dai can play in that position. This is actually really works. Let's do this. Actually, swing on support. So we're going to swap that around. Make you the event, the winger on attack. Make you the fullback on support. Fullback on attack. This can work, hopefully. I, I, I honestly hope this is going to work for us. I don't want to lose again. Please, please don't make me... No, actually, die. You can come in there. You can do this. I think that wasn't what I wanted to do. Yeah, this is work. This works. This is what we're going to do. We're going to make you the Shadow Striker, but this is going to work. Because Francisco Dai can do that. And now we're going to do this. This is literally the tactic we're going to use. Shadow Striker and Advanced Forward. This can work. A bot can play the Shadow Striker. Brazoni can play in the wing. This is perfect. We can do this. Come on. Got a chance. I'm hoping this is going to go... Oh, for goodness sake. That player is so annoying right now. Here's Conte. Now it's Dai. A bot. Shadow Striker can do something here. He's still doing something. He's found Conte. We're going to go more aggressive. Die. Bondi. Chance. Bondi scores. Brilliant. He's got past the record of Rokas. He's the third, officially the third highest goal scorer in the club now. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so, so happy. The relief of my voice, you can hear it right now that we've actually scored, is wonderful. Die with an assist too. He doesn't get those often. But Bondi scoring is beautiful. I kind of regret actually not playing Mapelli now honestly but that's beside the point we got we got a goal we got a goal they got a corner please don't do this to me oh my god hit the ball ah yeah yes yeah. so this is a bad thing isn't it we got a chance it's a throw we made some changes as well bots now on the pitch uh barbini's on the pitch now it's die can die do something ball in the middle Bondi! he's done it again we've moved into an inside forward i think and he's done it again it's two he's got two goals I can't believe it. We've come from behind. I should have gone for this 4 2 3 1 earlier. The Shadow Striker, I should have done this earlier. What was I doing? What was I thinking? All of this also on the pitch, too. But bloody hell. Dai and Bondi. Love this. It's a good combination right now. It's doing so well. Oh my god. Okay, that was a big, big victory. I feel lucky we got this victory. I, um, I say that now. I just realized that XG is high because of the penalty. We done well. Bazzoni was absolutely terrible, so he's not going to play for a while. Moots also didn't have a good game, so he's disappointed me a little bit. But we won. We beat in Calgary. And that means we should have 40 points now, right? Right? Uh, hopefully. Poor we didn't have the best of games at 5.5, but he's, it's his debut, so I can forgive him for that. However, yeah, 39 points. We're fine. We're good. Bondi is officially the fourth highest goal scorer now. Officially outright. In not just overall competitions, but also the League 2. So he's doing well. The third highest in the history of the team under my leadership which is wonderful to stuff and we're above to Suedo who were beaten by Pascal 3-1 what this is even better this has gone well this has gone too well I, I feel like I feel like I've, I've taken some hallucinogenics and I'm having a good time what the hell is happening to me okay so Paul did well I'm actually gonna give him a new contract because he's actually got potential I should really give him a new contract earlier but okay uh four-year deal we're going to get rid of those because we don't want to give him too much money. Yeah, 2.1 grand is fine. And yes, good, good game for us. As, by the way, just to, just, to, just to show you what I'm taunted with. I've got shown this guy. He's just been shown to me, right? This guy is, I can get him for 4 million. And I can't get him because of the challenge, right? He would fit in my team straight away as a good Serie L player. And I can't get him because I have to use players from my own academy. Imagine what I could do. Imagine I would probably have won the Champions League by this point if I could use players, my, uh, not just my own, own academy, right? I would probably be a Champions League winner by then. Ah, I'm, I'm just taunted by this game. I really am. 
anyway i'm gonna end this here i hope you guys have actually enjoyed yourselves hope you guys would like and share this video and that you'll subscribe to my channel it really does help me out a lot but anyway until next time goodbye and well good night